David Gottsall is the Director of Publishing and Education at Hootsuite, a social management system which helps you keep track and manage your multiple network channels. Because some of y'all taking up these channels and don't know how to manage Correct. them. Good morning. Welcome to Smart Maker. It's morning time, David. Good morning. Very happy uh, to be here. First of all, tell me about, about Hootsuite. Hootsuite, Hootsuite. yes. Sweet. Okay. So uh, we're the world's leading social media management platform. Mm. Uh, we've got accounts in 800 of the Fortune 1000 companies okay. around the world. So uh, we've been doing it a long time. We were founded in 2009, uh, world's biggest, oldest. And uh, I do education at Hootsuite and, uh, and publishing. We do a lot of content, a lot of, uh, a lot of initiatives to help businesses figure out how to get the most value out of social. Mm -hmm. So here you are in Jamaica. Yeah. A company that... From your research, are we serious as companies, as corporations, about social media? You know, um, I think to generalize on a national level uh, wouldn't be fair. We see really smart, sophisticated uh, organizations Do everywhere. Do you see a lot of those? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there are some, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and more businesses, however, that are really at the... Uh, you know, at the early stages where they're starting to take social seriously, but they haven't implemented a sophisticated strategy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I read somewhere they did a survey and said 72% of Jamaicans spend like at least four hours a day on their smartphones. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of time. So social media and managing it really is extremely important. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and, uh, and that's a good point that, uh, that in, in the Caribbean, in Latin America, um, in Europe, Middle East and Asia, um, Mobile first is really the, the strategy for, for social, where in North America, a lot of brands still use a, a, a desktop-oriented strategy, but in Jamaica, you're, you're going to want to focus on a, a mobile-oriented mobile, strategy. Yeah, mm -hmm. Because our mobile penetration is so high. Absolutely. What say you to the folks who do not believe in this thing <laughs> and think it's just a thing that you surf in your downtime? What, mm -hmm. is the, what is the benefit to companies to really take this seriously? Well, uh, I would sort of turn that around and say the, it's more the risk of not doing it. Um, your competitors are going to be doing it. Uh, and also, your audience is there. So if you're not paying attention to your social media strategy, uh, you're not only missing out, but you could even have, have risk. Mm -hmm. I saw this discussion yesterday on social media, and people are saying, should businesses be monitoring social media for their staff? Mm. And I was like, but should staff be... be, be tweeting about their company's business and their personal. Mm -hmm. Is that part of managing it that companies now have to understand that everybody is online yeah. and how do we manage what happens online? Yeah, I, I think uh, in the early days, um, a lot of brands thought about their employees on social media mm -hmm. as part of the risk side where you know they would have people representing their brand who maybe didn't have the, the media training, didn't, uh, weren't well-versed in, in how to represent and speak for their brand on, on social media, but they were there, they had an audience, they were talking to their friends. Uh, now, I think it's evolved a little bit so that it's, uh, we call it employee advocacy. Smart brands are, are looking at, uh, at social media as, uh, and, and their employees' social presence as an asset. Right. And what they're, they're using tools like Hootsuite. We have a product called Amplify, which uh, you download to your phone and, uh, and your, uh, your company's uh, corporate communications or, or PR team will have your uh, will will have Amplify set up so that the your employees know what to tweet or oh. or post and they, they know that uh, that it's been through a process that they can have confidence it's uh, it's credible and that it's a it's an accurate representation of the of the of the business mm -hmm. um, and what I do my team creates uh, uh, online courseware and certifications one of our certifications is for employee advocacy so you would train your entire organization on how to use amplify how to be an effective advocate for the company uh, and, and that, that way you have confidence that uh, that employee advocacy is actually working for you yeah you have some companies who <clears throat> will set up the social media function in their offices mm -hmm. um, but they can't get the staff buy-in mm -hmm can get the staff engagement in their own personal space mm -hmm. to help to build the company to grow. How do, mm -hmm. how do we tie the two together? Because people think when you're on social media as an, as an employee, big brother mm -hmm. is watching. Mm -hmm. So how do you, how do you, you know, get think, them to buy in and support that? I think you, you have to take a step back and think about what, 
what story are you trying to get your employees to say? I mean, they, your employees want to talk about their own their own lives, their own experiences at work. Our, our work lives are an important part of, of who we are. We want we, we want to to represent the the brand that we work for. If we have strong affiliation or affinity for it, we just don't know how to do it well. Um, so. If you're trying to get your employees to share content on, on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook that's essentially advertising, that's promotional first, it's just, hey, we're, we're, uh, we've got a new product, then your employees aren't going to want to put their personal brands behind that. But if you're telling a story about who we are as a company, what our values are, maybe if it's a, a corporate social responsibility initiative or something else that's about the, the core identity of the brand and mm -hmm. not just products and promotion, mm -hmm. then you're more likely to get employees engaged. Mm -hmm. which, which is the biggest platform, David? Because some people, they, they say, okay, I'm going to go on Facebook and nothing else. <laughs> some will say, oh, let me try Instagram, but it takes up so much of my time. Twitter is never going to see me. Mm -hmm. Which ones, the, how do you choose which one's the best for you? Uh, it depends on your objectives. Uh, the different, the, the four big platforms, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and Instagram, are good for different things. Um, so you want to work your way back from your strategic objectives and mm -hmm. then think about which platforms are best suited to it. Mm -hmm. But Hootsuite, the, the idea is you manage them all in one place. Mm -hmm. you, okay. you, you tailor your strategy to each platform. You schedule your posts. But you have one unified strategy mm -hmm. for, for all of uh, um, all the networks together. Nice. Delia, you raise an interesting point when you talk about um, not having enough time to dedicate to it. And I think a lot of corporates don't realize that this mm -hmm. is a job. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. so you should have somebody in that role mm -hmm. working on that. It's not somebody who doing another job, you know, who have a time to say pause then. every now and then. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a job. Mm -hmm. This is a department. This is a structure that needs to be worked out. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And so the the conference I'm here to uh, participate in, the PSOJ, uh, the theme is from from likes to profits, mm -hmm. and I think that that dovetails with the principle you're you're talking about. If you want to take social media as a you know a, a side gig and do it casually, then you're in the likes category. But if you want to be in the profits category, uh, you need three key things. You need people. You need skills, and that's that's where my team comes in. And you need technology. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then no, uh, <laughs> and that will be down to the to the bottom line. Absolutely. There is competitive advantage in this. Absolutely. Yeah. All I right. So that's tomorrow. <coughs> there you have it on the screen. Hashtag likes the profit. Um, did you make a Pegasus? And we have a range of speakers and panelists. Mm -hmm. Our Including own Ingrid Riley is going to be on it. Yeah. I see Deca Morrison. Ross Shield. Yeah. Good people. Folks, if you want to go, if you're interested, it's 8 to 4 tomorrow at the Pegasus. Mm -hmm. The contact number, if you want to register still, is 927 6238. Mm -hmm. My entire team will be there because we got to learn how to do this thing properly. Absolutely. And advise corporates to send the team there so they can know what they're doing seriously because it's yes. a dangerous tool, too, it if is. you don't mm -hmm. use it right. It is. Okay. It can make or break the business. <laughs> yes, quite Absolutely. so. Thank you very much, Director of Inbound and Education at Hootsuite, David Gotsall. All right, folks, go lots, on. Yeah, lots more Feeling smile. Feeling hot, <laughs> Hot, hot like yeah, fire. She's sick, man. Lots she's more smile, fever. but first, Samri I takes us to the break. <laughs> <laughs>